guys, it's Sinem or welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. So today we are going to be testing out Give Beauty by Gwen Stefani. So Gwen Stefani, absolutely love her. She is iconic and so beautiful. I grew up with Gwen Stefani, so this is very exciting for me. She launched her own beauty brand and this is Give Beauty and it's a new brand at Sephora. It's only at Sephora and on her website. It's also a clean brand at Sephora, cruelty free and vegan as well. And yeah, we're just gonna dive into the brand, into the products. So I do have pretty much everything here. So I hope you guys find this video helpful and without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. I do have, you know, quite a few of the products right here. I'm first going to start off with the eyeshadow quad and this is the IC in Colour multi-dimensional eyeshadow quad. So she does have four different types of palettes. I picked up the more cool toned one which is more mattes and then there is like a few with some shimmers in them as well and warm tones. So this is what the packaging looks like. First of all the packaging on everything is just so Gwen to me. It's you know it's mainly the font and I love that because this is a clean brand. I love that the box is kind of like a recycling box as well. It's like cardboard. So, I mean, this is honestly so pretty. It's black and white and gold, which is like Gwen's signature colors. Um, and I absolutely love like the foiled um, font right there. So this is in the palette called Danger Zone. That's the one I picked it up in, which is actually a song of hers. And this is the colors that I picked up. So I really wanted to go for something different rather than always getting warm tones. And I really feel like Gwen does always rock like a, a cut crease or a smoky eye as well when you actually do look at her makeup. So I wanted to kind of play around with these colors. So I'm gonna go into this shade called Too Late. And this one is, there's a little bit of, yeah, actually there is a lot of kickback. And so far, I really like this shade. I really like this shade because it's a nice cool tone it's a great transition neutral shade without having too much warmth in there. And also it's pigmented without a base so far and it's blending nicely. Let me know if you guys are a fan of Gwen Stefani and if you are, what is your favorite song from hers? I'm gonna take this shade right here called Never Know with the same brush and just darken everything up. I really like Luxurious. I really like What Are You Waiting For? Um, Sweet Escape is such a fun one. And also these are blending seamlessly like so smooth. I don't know if you'll be able to tell the way it's just blending. It's so seamless and also it kind of looks soft on the eye as well. Can you guys tell? Like it looks really soft. The only downside is there is a lot of fallout. But the great thing as well is that it's not actually falling out on my face. Next I am going to take this shade right here called Your Ghosts and it's kind of like a matte cream Ooh, ivory shade. And this one I'm just gonna pack on the lid because I do wanna keep it kind of all matte and very like neutral. Okay. I love this. I love, love, love how bright it is without a base. I mean, to pull off a color like this, to be that bright without, oh my God, to be that bright without a base, that's impressive. Full on pigment and brightness instantly. Look at that, look at that. Oh my gosh, and it's so smooth on the eyes. And also when you do blend these colors, you actually don't lose a lot of the color. Like that is so pigmented. And I like that they all blend seamlessly together. And last but not least, I'm gonna be taking the last shade in the palette called Secrets on the little pencil brush. And I'm just going to use that as kind of like my smoky wing liner, but not make it a wing, if that makes sense. Just keeping it right here to add a little bit of definition. And also it's not very, very intense as well, which I like because if it was very black, then it would look very harsh. So this just looks very soft, but still adding definition and darkness, darkness and some depth. So I actually really like that it's not like super, super black. It's kind of like a gunmetal, really deep gray black, if that makes sense. I mean, you guys can see this isn't like pure black. So yeah, this is a, <laughs> these shades are really, really nice. And I'm really liking how the eyes are turning out. I don't want to mess around with it too much because I do have something else that I want to go into now. The product I'm going to go into is the Give Beauty Line It Up 24 Hour Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. This is in the shade Bath Water, which is a metallic blue. And this eyeliner is so pretty. Look at that. Love the packaging of this as well. And Bath Water is described as a like metallic cobalt 
electric blue and this is supposed to be waterproof so it's not supposed to budge it's supposed to stay in place all day but also it says on the website that it gives you enough time to play with it and smudge it out as well and then it sets which i love so you actually get like enough time to actually blend it out and play around with it so this is what it looks like this is bath water yeah that's really pretty it's like a nice sparkly metallic electric blue shade just gonna run it right here and see what that's gonna do oh it glides it glides it it glides it's very creamy it's i mean it's insanely creamy and we're gonna see if it gives us enough time to blend it out and it's a very nice blue as well it's a really nice blue you don't see a lot of the shimmer but it's still really pretty Okay, so as I'm blending it, I can feel it starting to tug a little bit, which means that it's starting to set, so... Yeah, it's starting to feel really dry. Okay, I think that's already set because that's not blending. So it's blending, but it, it doesn't give you enough time like they say. I mean, it's pretty much dried down, like it kind of, kind of tugs. So for the face, there is this product right here. And this is, I believe, the only face product that she launched. And this is the All Time Prime Multi-Use Prep and Smooth Face Oil. And this is supposed to be basically a smoothing face oil. So it is kind of like a multi-use oil. You can use it as a skincare product, but you can also use it as a makeup primer and underneath your makeup as well. So this is what it looks like. It's a beautiful bottle. It is glass. So it's heavy duty. You know, it's really luxe and it's $48 so that is a lot for just an oil so we are going to be seeing how this looks on the skin if it's just like a regular oil that you can literally just get maybe from the drugstore or if it's something different and unique but yeah this is supposed to I love as well that on the boxes it tells you what it does so this is for smooth dewy skin or to prep before makeup okay so it smells very like coconutty and perfumey Mm, it's not super perfumey. Yeah, it's definitely like a really light, light scent with a little bit of like coconut in there. Ooh, ooh, okay. Can you find a makeup oil? Yes, like a primer oil, yes. But this for some reason feels very, um, very light on the skin. It does not feel oily, which is so weird. Like it, it's obviously an oil, but it's sinking in so quickly that it's almost become like just a moisturizer that I've put on my skin. I can't explain. It's just, it doesn't feel slippery and oily. It feels very like, very moisturizing and nourishing with like a little bit of this dewiness, just it leaving behind. So, oh my gosh, I think if you have dry skin, like myself, this is gonna be absolutely amazing with foundation going right on top. Ooh, I love how this feels. Sorry, I am like really shocked because I didn't expect much. My skin looks so healthy and glowy and juicy. It looks very plump. It looks really nice and hydrated. Like look how it just leaves my cheeks right here and you know, my forehead. So it's giving like this beautiful glow. My skin feels so smooth. So, oh my God, it's called the Smooth Face Oil. So yeah, it's definitely very, very, very smoothing. So I am gonna quickly go into foundation. And I do wish that I, I do wish that Gwen did come out with more products, but of course I'm sure she's going to come out with more in the future. So the next products we are gonna go into are the lip products. So I'm just gonna finish off this foundation and I'll also let you know how the rest of the makeup goes on because at the moment it's going on super smooth. It's just gliding on top of the oil and I don't know, my skin just looks so good right now and it feels really lightweight. Look how the foundation just goes on. And also the foundation, the blush and the bronzer went on so smoothly. I had no issues with the oil underneath. And also I will say, if you have dry skin, this is perfect for you. Although if you do have oily skin, this may kind of separate maybe throughout the day. So it's, I'm still gonna recommend it to everyone, but maybe be a little bit more cautious if you do have oily skin using the oil 
on top of your oily skin. So what I will go into now is the darker shade and then the lighter shade right there, just to put on my lower lash line. This is so intense. I mean, this is so pretty. Honestly, I'm in love with this little palette. Like, I did not expect much out of it. Also, I wanted to show you guys the eyeliner. Look. Does not budge, does not budge. Like, at all. Maybe it's coming off slightly, but that's pretty good because you're not really get you know, you're not really gonna be rubbing out your eye like that for it to come off that much. So that's, that's really good. Um, so for the lip products, there are two right here. Um, she came up with three, one's a shiny lipstick, one's a matte lipstick, and one's a liquid lipstick. I picked up the matte lipstick and the liquid lipstick. So let's start off with the matte lipstick first. This is the Original Me High Performance Matte Lipstick in the shade Original Recipe. All of the lipsticks are in the shade Original Recipe, which is her signature True Red. And the packaging, again, on this is absolutely to die for. It is the white and black with the gold. I mean, this is just absolutely stunning and this is what it looks like inside so it is literally her signature red which i cannot wait to put on my lips and also the texture of this looking at it is a velvety like matte coating over it you can see it's got like this velvetness to it so it's going to be very similar to the mac powder kiss lipsticks if you have tried those so let's go ahead and try it on of course there's no lip liner so i'm just going to go straight in oh Smells a little odd, but a little coconutty again. I have to say, that went on so easy. And I think it's because the tip is very sharp, like very sharp. So you can really just kind of outline your lips. But also, it took me like zero effort to put on this red lip and red lips red lipsticks are very hard to put on because sometimes they are drying and sometimes it's just very hard to work with without a lip liner but this literally went on so smooth so pigmented right away again literally zero effort it feels very velvety very comfortable it doesn't feel drying it feels very creamy on the lips and yeah it just feels so good on the lips and it looks really good as well. It's a very bright red though. It is a very Gwen red because it's very intense. So if you love a really bright red, these are the lipsticks that you're going to love. If you like a deeper red, you can still go in with a deeper lip liner. But this is the shade Original Recipe in the High Performance Matte Lipstick. So let me know what you guys think. And remember, red will always stain the lips temporarily. So next we do have the liquid lipstick. This is called the I'm Still Here Lightweight Longwear Matte Liquid Lipstick. So it's literally the same red in the shade Original Recipe, but just in a liquid lipstick form, which is supposed to be more longer wearing, of course, and it's not supposed to transfer when you eat and drink. So this is really going to stay put all day. And that is what that one looks like. So yeah, if you just prefer a liquid lipstick version rather than a lipstick, this is the one. Ooh. It's got a really, really nice doe foot applicator, like a flat doe foot applicator, that it just kind of like fit into my lips and just glide the color all over and just went on really easy and smooth. The red is pretty much the exact same. I don't know if there's any difference with the red. I think it looks pretty much the same. And I can feel it drying down. So this does does feel a little more on the dry side. Um, the only thing is it does feel a little, like it's starting to get a little bit hard and dry and a little bit tacky because it is a liquid lipstick, which is like traditional for liquid lipsticks. But let me know what you guys think. This is pretty much the review on Give Beauty. The only other thing I didn't pick up was the eyebrow pencil um, and the shiny lipstick. So apart from that, this is pretty much like her brand and I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. I would definitely recommend the products. I think if you had to pick, definitely get the face oil, one of the eyeshadow palettes, even if you don't want those colors, and then a lipstick. Probably the uh, this lipstick instead. Let me know what you guys think. This is the final look, and I definitely, definitely love it. I cannot wait to see what else she puts out. So I hope you guys found this video enjoyable and helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and until next time, I'll speak to you guys all in my next video.